Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Wendy and I'm a dog trainer here at Leader of the Pack Pet Services. And in today's video, I want to show you three really quick, super easy DIY braided dog toys uh, using just a couple of pairs of old pajama bottoms that I had lying around my house. Okay, so this first toy is a triple braid rope toy and this is three separate three strand braids then braided all together to make one large toy. So for this um, we're starting with a pair of pajama pants and we're going to cut off the cuffs at the bottom and also the waistband around the top. use the seams to cut four separate rectangle pieces. Each leg of the pajamas will um, give you the two rectangle pieces. So I just found it much easier to follow the seams that were already there to create the pieces and then I just squared them off so that they were mostly equal in size and roughly a rectangle shape. From there each of the pieces I cut three strips from each side. So once you have your strips all cut up, it's now time to do the braid. So you'll take three pieces for each braid, and I did find it a little bit easier to just tape um, the pieces down to the table, uh, so it's easier to do the braid. Now if you haven't done a braid before, it's super easy, and for those of you who have already, then you can just <laughs> skip through this part. But basically you take, uh, moving from one side to the other, you take the outside piece, so the right outside, cross it over the middle piece and then repeat on the left hand side. So the left outside piece comes into the middle and then the right piece comes into the middle, then the left piece over and over all the way down to the end of the fabric. Um, as you get towards the end just make sure you do leave enough room at the bottom for some additional strands as we're going to use that later as part of the toy. And what I did is just tied a loose knot at the bottom because we're going to remove that later on when we join them all together. So you're going to repeat the same process um, two more times so that you have three individual braids to work with so that then you can join them together, braid them together but later on to make the bigger toy. So starting with the end that you tape down, you're going to use one of the braids to create a knot. I just wrapped it around and tucked it under and just pull it tight so that it has a nice secure hold and that it doesn't come undone the first time you play with it with your dog. So just like with um, when we braided the individual pieces, you're going to start from the outside, outside piece, fold into the middle, moving from the right hand side, then the left hand side, so forth, all the way down the end of the toy. And when you get towards the end, you're going to undo those loose knots that we made when we did the individual uh, rope strands. And then like we did at the top, we're going to create one um, knot at the bottom of this to keep it nice and secure. I have three quite large dogs, which is why I wanted a large braided toy, hence why I did the three separate braids all into the one. If you do have a smaller dog, then you know, one braid may be enough for you and that is totally fine. But I just found the three, just made it a nice extra bit chunky and I think it's not too big that smaller dogs would be fine to use it. Okay, for the second braided toy, this is a four strand square knot braid. So this one's a little bit messier than the one before and it's made up more of knots rather than um, braids as such. So we're going to take another pair of pyjamas and you're going to cut it up like you did the previous pair except this time you cut each of the rectangles into two. Now as this is a four strand braid, you're going to collect 
four different strands together this time and knot them all at the top. To complete this braid, we'll be using the same piece to start with each time. So to make it easier, I put a bobby pin on the first strand. So to start with, we're going to cross the first strand over the second one, then the second strand over the third one, then the first the third strand over the fourth one to create that um, square and then the fourth strand goes over the third and then under the first one okay and then to tighten the knots you're going to pull them slowly alternating or oh, sorry on the opposite sides alternating which ones you pull until the knots get nice and tight right down to the original knot that you made then what you need to do is set yourself back up again, realign it so that your very first piece, the one that had the bobby pin on it, is the one that you start with. So you take that first piece again over the second one, the second one then goes across and over the third one, the third strand then goes down and across the fourth strand, and the fourth one goes across the third and then under the first. And then again you pull on the opposite directions, um, alternating sides, until you tighten the knots down. Then you repeat this same knotting activity all the way down into the fabric until um, you run out of fabric and you have only a little bit left and then you can knot that at the end as well. ended up with a slightly longer piece at the end so I used that to create my knot by wrapping it around the other strands and tucking it under. With these knots you want to make sure you pull really tightly to so that they're nice and secure and it gives less room for your dog to be able to get in and unravel the knots. So tug them really nice and tight and firm so you're creating a really strong dog toy. And don't worry if your toy is a little bit bumpy and ugly. Trust me, your dog won't care, and mine wasn't much better. So the thing about this one is it is quite chunky, um, and it, your dog can have a nice good grip on it, and I found the knot at the top especially was a really great place to grip onto it when you're playing, playing tug with your dog. And they just loved it, so it didn't matter to them that it wasn't perfect. Okay, so for our final braided toy, we're going to be doing another four strand braid, but this is a flat braid instead. And it uses a piece of fabric from each of the different pajamas that we cut up. So taking the first piece of fabric, you're going to create a loop about halfway down the fabric, and then you're gonna feed the other piece through the center until it sits about halfway down. So you're creating four equal length um, strands so hence the four strand braid so then you're going to start from the left hand side and bring the outside piece over the middle piece and leave it in the middle there and then go to the right side and you'll take that piece under the next piece and then over the third piece so again outside the left piece comes over then you move to the right side that piece goes under and then over the next piece so it seems a bit complicated, but it's quite easy once you get the hang of it. And having the different colored fabrics really helps to keep um, where you're up to in the sequence. So always the left side goes over one piece and the right side goes under and then over another piece. So braid it all the way down and then like the other ones, you take one of the strands, wrap it around the other three and then tie the knot in the end. What I really love about this toy is that the way, because of the way we started, it doesn't have a knot at each end, only at the bottom. And the top bit has this nice loop, which is really super great if you want to add it to a flirt pole or tie it somewhere um, for a tug game or something like that. So that loop at the top is super helpful. Okay, so there you have it. Three pretty easy DIY braided dog toys that you can use to play tug, fetch, 
on a flirt pole, whatever you like with your dogs and they'll get loads of enjoyment out of it just like mine did. Hope you enjoyed this video, stay tuned for more and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!